Hello YouTube, this is Dronica1313, and welcome to another one of my mod spotlights. This mod is called the Easter Mod, and basically what it does is it adds uh, everything that has to do with Easter to the game of Minecraft. It's pretty cool, still in development, still a lot of things to be added, but I figured I'll just show you guys, that way you can kind of get a feel for it before they add a whole bunch of things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what the mod uh, includes. Alright, so first things first, you'll notice that I'm in a brand new biome. This biome is called the Easter Biome, and, you know, obviously it is added by the mod. Um, you'll notice that the water is a slightly different color, it's kind of like a purplish color. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Um, and then you'll also notice that you find these eggs all around the place. You find these, those kind of eggs, you find uh, other eggs with different designs, and you can really find a whole bunch of them. There's also a few different flowers, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few. Right here, this purple one is called the Easter flower. Pretty cool. This yellow one is called the uh, Dahlia. Yeah, Dahlia. That's what I'm going to say. And then this is like another type of bush. It's a pinky bush. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. These are just regular flowers. Um, another thing that it adds are these uh, bushes. These are cocoa bean bushes. They're pretty cool. And what you'll notice is over time, they'll start to grow beans on the leaves, so you'll notice that some of these blank spaces are going to be filled in with um, like a, a brown type of color. And then basically when you right click on them, it'll give you cocoa beans. So it makes it a little bit easier to uh, obtain cocoa beans other than searching the world for caves and whatnot. Another thing that you'll notice, if I don't kill myself, is there's these things. These are uh, randomly generated. And uh, basically what they are, let me go ahead and create a mode, uh, these are Jesus tombs. Yep, and any mod that involves Easter has to in include Jesus in it. Um, but anyways, these are randomly generated, and there's a few different designs of them. First off, you have uh, this kind, which, you know, has some gravel floors and some neat looking stone. Oops, I'm in creative mode. And uh, it has this thing. This is a tombstone. And it acts like a bed, you could sleep on it if you want. But obviously it's not nighttime, so it's not gonna work. Now that it's nighttime, let's go ahead and sleep. That was weird. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really work yet. That's probably something that they're working on. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, that's the new biome that it includes. Let's go ahead and look at some of the items that it uh, creates. Alright, so I showed you guys an easier way to get chocolate, or cocoa beans rather. If you, you know, while you're mining around, you may find this type of ore. This is white chocolate ore, as you can see right here. And when you mine it, you get white chocolate dust. Let me go ahead and make a furnace, and I'll show you what this creates. Alright, so once you have your furnace, and you put your white chocolate dust into that furnace, and you wait for it to smelt up, you get white chocolate bars. Pretty awesome. Now these can be eaten, and it heals, I believe it is two hunger bars. So pretty cool, another source of food that you can find anywhere. But there are a few other uses for this. If we look into NEI here, and we scroll over, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of different tools and armor sets that you can make. Let's go ahead and look at a few of them individually. Alright, so uh, you guys know how to make white chocolate, now let's go ahead and look, take a look at how to make milk chocolate. To make milk chocolate, you're going to need those cocoa beans that you got from your cocoa bean bushes. You put them in an uh, arrangement like so, and then you put milk chocolate on top of them. This gets you six milk chocolate bars. The next thing that we have, and this is just a temporary recipe by the way, it is not going to always be like this, they are going to change it. Um, but if you put six buckets of milk in an arrangement like this, you get dark chocolate bars. And of course you get your buckets back. Let's take a look at the armor first. First off, you have the white chocolate and you can make a white chocolate uh, chest plate. You can make white chocolate boots. You can make white chocolate pants, like so. And then you can make, oops, you can make a white chocolate helmet. And then this goes the same with dark chocolate. You can make all the armor sets for dark chocolate and all the armor sets for milk chocolate. So pretty cool. And basically when you put all this on, um, if you're not in creative mode, 
it provides a, a fair amount of protection. It's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like a in between leather and iron armor. So you know, pretty good. And since it's kind of cheap, it's a it's a good armor. Um, just be careful; it might melt. <laughs> no, it probably won't. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at the tools next. So you know, the tools are pretty obvious. You have your pickaxe, white chocolate pickaxe. You have your shovel, you have an axe, a hoe, hold on, a hoe, and a shovel. And then you also have your white chocolate sword. Bam, white chocolate sword. And then again, this goes for the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate bars that you can craft all the tool sets with. Alright, so another thing that we can craft here are chocolate diamonds. The way you make these is with a diamond in the middle, and then surround it by milk chocolate bars. This gets you six of them. Now what these will be used for is they will be used to tame the mobs that are included in this mod. Although they're not included yet, but they should be there within the next few updates. So chocolate diamonds, pretty cool. Let's take a look at another thing that you can craft. This is called the Jesus Tomb Cross. The way you craft this is with a diamond in the middle, and surround it by wood. These cannot be wooden planks, they have to be wood, and uh, yeah, this gets you a Jesus Tomb Cross. Now if we go ahead and just go over to a random place, while it's daytime, and we right click, bam. We just got our own Jesus Tomb. Now I believe like you can't use this over and over again, this is just because I'm in creative mode. But if we do it again over here, bam, got a different one, pretty cool. And, uh, so yeah, there's the Jesus Tomb Cross, it's used to spawn Jesus Tombs. Um, so, I don't know, maybe you could, like, make a house out of this or something. Or you could pretty much just use it to get these cool little blocks that you get right here. Um, so yeah, that's that, and let's go ahead and look at something else that we can make. Alright, so we're walking around your world here, you'll notice that there's a few, uh, different kinds of eggs. If we go ahead and just hit one, we'll see that it's a mystery egg. Well, you can do something with these mystery eggs, but you have to craft something up first. This is uh, going to be our egg opener, crafted with some stone on the outside and then a piece of glass in the middle, getting you an egg opener. Now if we go ahead and give ourselves some coal, and we place this thing down, we open up the interface, you'll notice that, you know, there's a... It's kind of similar to the, uh, the furnace. Put our coal on the bottom here, and put a mystery egg right there. You notice that it will work and the arrow will progress and eventually you'll get, wait for it, a random item. This can be anything from milk chocolate bars, uh, I've gotten armor before, um, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can get. It's pretty much just a random item that it uh, takes out. I mean, you could get a chocolate diamond, you could really get anything, so, I don't know. Pretty good way of getting resources, seems like I'm only getting chocolate bars right now. But I promise you, it is a random chance that you, you know, get something good. Let's see what do we get here? And we got another chocolate bar. Awesome. Looks like I'm just unlucky or something. Let's go ahead and put these in. And look, that one got us a chocolate diamond. Awesome. See, told you there was a chance of you getting something good. So there's the uh, egg opener. Let's go ahead and look at something else that we can craft. Ever wanted to make a house out of chocolate? Well, here's a way for you to do that. If you put nine chocolate bars in a crafting grid like that, then you get that same type of chocolate, but you get it in block form. So let's go ahead and make up a dark chocolate block. We have a white chocolate. Let's go ahead and make up a milk chocolate. And there we go. And uh, yeah, these are pretty much just, I guess, for decoration. Um, but yeah, you could build some pretty neat houses like that. And then you can go ahead and say, hey, I have a house of chocolate which is awesome. So there's the blocks of chocolate that you can make. Let's go ahead and look at something else. This mod adds another type of crop. This is the raisins crop. Let me go ahead and uh, get a little bit of a farm set up here and then we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Alright, so I have a little farm here that I set up with my white chocolate hoe. Let's go ahead and put these down. They're pretty much just like any other crop. They grow and then you could harvest them and then that gets you raisins. With raisins, you can craft up another type of food, being cross buns. 
Let's go ahead and look up the crafting recipe of that. It's crafted with some milk, some sugar, some raisins, and then some wheat on the four corners, getting you four cross buns. Give ourselves a few, and we go over to a for furnace that we have somewhere. One being right here. Give ourselves some coal, and we cook these up in a furnace, and we wait a little bit. This gets us hot cross buns. Mmm, delicious snack. Um, so you know you could eat these, and these heal, uh, if I remember correctly, about four and a half, maybe four, uh, health food things. Um, so yeah, pretty good snack, and, uh, give you a neat little, uh, crop that you can harvest to make a whole bunch of farms. Looks like that's pretty much it for this mod. Um, as you can see, it adds a lot of neat things. It adds, like, a new biome, and adds a few new blocks. New types of food, new generation, new crops, so it's a it's a pretty extensive mod, and like I said, the uh, mod authors are also working on it diligently, so um, there's a lot of things to be added soon. Some things that might be added in the future would be uh, Easter bunnies, and they would drop around, or hop around, rather, and uh, they would randomly drop little eggs, so that's pretty neat. Now you could have, like, a Easter bunny farm, um, and then they also mentioned something about little chicks that would hop around as well. So pretty cool, seems like there's a lot of things planned for this mod, so you could definitely uh, keep an eye on it and see if there's any updates in the future. Um, but for now, that's pretty much it. This has been Drawing Kid 1313 on my mod spotlight for the Easter mod. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you go over to the mods page and download it and support the author. So until next time, I'll see ya!